shield defense is in that big metal pyramid. We got an amplifier. Well, not an amplifier, but a lot of zombies spawning over there. So we have kill boxes over there. We've got amplifier B over there with a the kill box. Amplifier C over here with a kill box. A over here with the kill boxes, which kind of useless now because D is right there. So we got some kill boxes down there. So let's go check out the main shield defense. Hit the fender post here, but honestly, don't really ever need it because nobody ever comes <laughs> up here from this direction because of the amplifiers. But I know that when I built it, so I kept it because it looks cool. Same with all of these defenses. If for some reason somebody does get in here, they've got to go through that wall, this wall, and this wall with all these traps to get to it. And that's where everything is stored. Go back outside. I'm gonna head over here because this is where most of the attacks on the actual shield defense come from. So this one actually protects both D and the shield defense. Gets a lot of uh, spawning here. And I spawn here. As you can see, it's it's taken some damage. You can see where uh, it's been hit pretty hard. But essentially, you go in through here, and they can also come down through here and just walk through all of these traps to keep on going through these traps to A. So that leads them there instead of into here. Do you have to be careful because sometimes they like to try to just go through the wall instead. All of these are here because at first they wanted to just go through. And so I just kept adding layer after layer until they stopped and wanted to just go that way. So now when they spawn over here, they... They like to cut through here as well, so yeah. I just gave them an easy way up in here to lure them in this direction, so they stopped doing that. You should come up through here and meander all of these slow through the traps and the wall darts. And I've never actually gotten them to get this far, but if they don't get through there, they end up over here. I'm gonna head over to Amplifier A now. He doesn't really get damaged much anymore except for through this way, but like I showed before, they go through here, and they get through here, then they're at A through that direction. We used to get a lot of zombies through here, but once D went up, they all got pushed back. So this is basically, if there was an insane attack at 10, I guess it would be defended through that kill box. Uh -uh. This one was also used in the beginning. They would just walk all the way down the line towards the base. It's a little low on materials when D came up, so I did all of these wood walls to protect from whatever direction. And as you can see, this is pretty far pushed up on this amplifier, so I can't really build too far, so it's why it's such a small kill box. But it gets the job done for that one. Same with over here. They can either spawn up here for now until I put down that amplifier next. I have to figure out what to do for that. And come on through here. Meander their way to the amplifier. Amplifier C, this one does get a lot of hate, but it's probably the best defender, so it's not even a problem. They all spawn down in here, and they either go through there, or they'll walk up here. Sometimes they spawn over there. 
come through here, just get hit by all of these traps laying down hate, and if they make it this far, they'll get to here. We also have some spawning, actually I would say at least 50% spawn, down in here, so it splits them up around this rock, so they'll either come up through here, or they'll come around through here, and then they can make their way towards Amplifier C. And then for the ones that didn't go through that side, I have this so that when they go up the hill, they get hit through here and slowed. I'm gonna head up to Amplifier B now. This was basically useless. I built this before C was here, and even still they didn't come through. Just haven't deleted it. Everybody that attacks us comes through here. They all spawn either down there or over on this side. And so they'll either come up through here, walk through here to that, or they'll spawn over here. I have this here to place my Teddy on. Teddy's lay down hate, and it's good to have a nice open position through here. And all of this debris is just here to keep them from wandering a different way. The smashers are the real problems because go straight for this wall. And if they're starting to go through there, they're not getting hit by any of these traps. We have a defender's post here so they can just walk around in here as they please. And that's about it. This back part ended up being completely useless. It's just here. So if you're thinking about building something cool back here, don't even waste your time. Not even used the entire game. But that is it. This is my base. It's worked pretty well, you know. Had some hang ups here and there, but it's gotten the job done.